A wild ride for police and the people they were pursuing through the streets of Hamilton County today. Nine News anchor Tanya O'Rourke is here now to show us the path of a high-speed chase. Tanya? Yeah, it was a pretty good path, Clyde. What we know now is that an alert went out at a Huntington Bank um, branch on East Galbraith Road in Deer Park. Now, from there, police started chasing a woman and a, two men in a Jeep across down, town, down Galbraith Road, all the way to where it later came to an end about 10 minutes later on Galbraith Road still, but in Hartwell near a speedway. Nine News reporter Annette Pegler is joining us live from where it all began. Annette, exactly what prompted that chase and what brought it to an end? Well, Tanya, Deer Park investigators are calling this entire incident a fraud scam. They received a call from this Huntington Bank just after noon today from a teller who reported that a woman and two men came through this drive through and presented stolen identification to try to access one of the accounts. Now, police were called, and that's when the chase began. The woman was driving the car. Two male suspects in the car took off. They eventually escaped, and they were last seen behind the Dillonville Shopping Center. Now, police were not able to get a clear description of those suspects. Now, police say all the people involved are believed to be from Denham, Florida, which makes this case even more interesting. During the pursuit, police used stop sticks to try to stop the white Jeep Cherokee the woman was driving. Police say the woman hit two police cruisers. The, poli the pursuit ended at the speedway along Galbraith Road in Hartwell. But before she was arrested, investigators say there were a number of other crashes. Several traffic crashes on the way from Deer Park to here. One in Sycamore Township in Dillonvale, another one in the area 75 in Galbraith. And then as you see right here on the scene, uh, she rammed into two other uh, vehicles, one from the city of Silver and one city of Deer Park. Now, police have not released the woman's identification because they believe that she has gone by a number of different names. They do. They did tell me today that charges are likely, but they are pending. However, they do plan to charge her with felonious assault. Carol, we're back to you. Annette Pegler, live for us in Deer Park. Thanks, Annette.